Okay guys, I did it again. If you haven't figured it out yet, I love subscription boxes. I love uh, mystery boxes. I love things like that. Partially because I love the surprise of it. Um, I've always told my husband over the years that part of the reason it was fun to order things even though you knew what you were getting was the act of receiving it and opening it. Maybe it's because as a mom we don't receive the gifts and stuff. I don't know. Um, but and gift giving is my love language. So there's that. Anyhow, guys, I tried a new one. Um, I have no idea what to genuinely expect inside this box. I do have some personal opinions about the company at this point in time, though. Um, so I'm going to actually, I'll show you guys everything I got in here. I'm going to show you what it is in just a second. Um, but after I show you, I open everything with you guys, then I'll tell you my opinion of Culture Fly. Um, because there's some things I want to add into that, but I don't want to take away from the box itself. Okay, guys, if you know me in person, you may know I am a huge Friends fan. I pretty much every year rewatch the entire series um, just because it's... I a lot of times, guys, I'll admit it, I turn it on in the background while I'm doing things at night when the kids are in bed. Um, the humor in it and everything else is just something that it always brings a smile to my face. So I've always loved that. And the fact that they just did the reunion and everything else was just awesome. I had ordered this before I knew that was even coming out, that they were doing the reunion. Uh, so it was really cool. Actually, I shouldn't say that because we all knew like a year ago that they planned to and then COVID happened. Um, but before they actually had released the, hey, we're actually doing it date, uh, I had ordered this. So, guys, I'm holding it way off to the side. I'm sorry. Um, this is the season five box from Culture Fly. I took the plastic off purely because, uh, for one, to save time, and two, because it had my address and everything on it. So, I have that off there. I am going to go ahead and open this. Uh, they do ask your size or preferred size or whatever when you order. Uh, so that way they can, uh, because it sounds like there's usually clothing of some sort in here. So guys, I'm loving everything I'm seeing right off the top. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this number. So uh, super exciting so far. I'm going to pull the papers out first because that's just what I do. Uh, we do have the Culture Fly subscription boxes. Um, it's just a flyer uh, talking about the other boxes they've got. Don't know that I care about that right now. Okay, uh, guys, if you don't want to be surprised, if you don't want to ruin the surprise of what's in the box, don't look at the little postcard because apparently on the back side it shows everything that's in here. So I'm just going to set that to the side. I can double check things later. Uh, we have a cutting board, the whole they don't know that we know that they know. Uh, this is a very small cutting board. This is more of a decorative. Uh, it does have a hanging loop on it, so this will probably actually just be something that I hang up as decoration rather than actual use because in our large household, that's not going to get very far. Uh, this one is super ironic given the latest uh, FabFitFun box that I got. It's actually a friend's wine tumbler. Um, it is hand wash only, BPA free, which actually means that this is not glass then. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open this and we're going to... Styrofoam! Okay. Guys, I will edit this and put down here at the bottom later uh, if that was glass or plastic because I cannot open that right now. Um, I am not in the mood to deal with styrofoam. I, let's see here. There's a few things. They're all wrapped up so I don't know what to grab first. Okay. Good thing I have scissors near me. Because this is very tightly rolled. Okay, I guess the tag actually says what it is, and in order to get it to fit in there, this is a friend's floor mat. Uh, <laughs> pivot. Okay, it does have the rubber grippies on the back to act as a floor mat. I don't think that this would be a bath mat. I'm really not sure where you'd put this, but I will put it down here on the floor in my craft room. Um, the pivot is extra funny because I actually have license plate covers on my big van. Uh, I drive one of the big Nissan Envy vans. Love that thing. It's a tank, but the turning radius on them kind of sucks. And so when I saw license plate covers that said pivot, uh, the irony was just super funny because, well, I love friends. The line is funny. And the fact that there's a poor turning radius uh, means that uh, it's just ironic. Okay. 
Ooh, we have couch bookends. That is actually perfect because guys, we are unpacking all of our boxes from the garage right now and I have to put all my books back on my shelves here in my office. And book ends will actually come in very handy for some of it. And I'm willing to bet that there's styrofoam. I was wrong. I thought there'd be styrofoam in here. It's actually just the bookends. And if you guys hear, I do have a four year old in the next room who's just yelling for me, uh, but he's just gonna have to wait a second. I know what it is. He wants somebody to change whatever cartoon he's watching. Um, okay. So there's one of them. Those are cute. And it does also have the Friends logo at the bottom, guys. So I've got those, which like I said, that's going to come in perfect. I'm saving the shirt for last. And just like that, my battery had died and I realized I also hadn't turned on my extra light. So back at it guys, I did not touch anything. Well, I swapped that really quick, which was just a blip in the video for you. Uh, the next thing though, I am going to pull out here is the little sandwich case. Uh, Tupperware containers and stuff are appreciated in our house, but we try not to hold too many uh, just because it takes up a lot of cupboard space. But a friend's sandwich container, you ate my sandwich, my sandwich. Joey is very protective of his sandwiches. Um, I am saving the clothing item for last just because I can't wait to see it. Uh, we do have a whiteboard and markers. Uh, this entire thing actually appears to be a magnet. So I don't know if I have anywhere down here that I can stick this to, but I, I don't know why I'm watching myself either. Um, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to come up with something. Um, you know, I actually, now that we are staying put, I need to get some other stuff done with the walls and all of that down here. And I might just have to play, find a place to put that. Guys, last but not least. Now, first of all, before I open this, I'm going to show you guys in the bottom of the box. It does have the same, you ate my sandwich saying. But the last but not least is the clothing, clothing item. It seems, uh, as far as I can tell, that they do include at least one clothing item in every box. Um, I thought this was a shirt at first, but now that I'm feeling the fabric of it, it's a bomber jacket. It is a bright yellow bomber jacket. Central Perk. Friends logo on the front. Guys, I'm actually really excited about this. In fact, I'm going to try this on really quick and let you know if it fits. And just like that, I can tell you guys that this fits. I can zip it up and everything, which is awesome. Uh, it is a very lightweight, like wind uh, material. So this will be great here for the summer, kind of cooler night, or if it's going to be rainy or something like that. So it's going to be great for all of that. It is not an insulated one. So this is not going to be a really warm jacket or anything like that. Just that extra little layer is all. Okay, guys, so now that I've shown you everything that came in this box, let me tell you my opinion of Culturefly. So my experience with Culturefly, uh, not super positive. Guys, I try to extend a lot of grace where I can. Um, I'm going to start by saying, as far as the contents of the box, I do actually appreciate this box. Uh, it's got some fun stuff in it. It was about $40, so it's not cheap. But at the same time, if you have ever priced um, TV show-based uh, memorabilia and that kind of stuff, it's not cheap. Um, there's actually not very many places around here to buy stuff like this. I was recently at BAM, which is Books A Million. Uh, it's our only like large bookstore around here and was looking at some of the friend stuff. And I mean, it's, you know, $10, $20 per piece on average. I don't know that all of this would have been like the whiteboard, um, but even that I could see them pricing close to $10 just because it carries the friend's logo. The fact that I got a clothing piece that fits, the bookends, the wine tumbler, the other stuff was just extra, honestly. Um, the floor mat even. So $40 is actually not a bad price for all of this. Uh, the catch is though, you have to be willing to wait for the box. Uh, so this is season five. Uh, the next one, season six, they're doing pre-orders for now. It makes me cringe just a little bit. I ordered this box back in February. Uh, when the pre-orders opened, uh, then it shows, you know, that everything went through come March. Um, it was supposed to have been shipped by the end of April. Uh, the second half of April is when it was supposed to go out. I was actually supposed to get it in April. 
That didn't happen. They said they had some issues that it wasn't really clear if it was an issue getting certain pieces that were supposed to go in this or if it was actual shipping issues, but it got pushed back to May 11th. Okay, fine. I can give that. May 11th came and went. Um, and it was about another week after that before it even said that it was shipping. Once it finally said that it was shipping, guys, it sat there. It sat there at their warehouse with label printed for like two more weeks, uh, maybe even three. Guys, it was quite a while. Once it shipped, now this, this I'm going to go ahead and say it's not Culturefly's fault. Um, for whatever reason, packages coming up to the Black Hills almost always go through Colorado. And stuff, every time we see something land in Aurora, Colorado, we cringe because we know got a 50-50 chance of actually getting it. And they always seem to get lost for days there at a minimum. So, and then it's whether or not it actually makes it out of there after that. I don't know what is happening in Aurora. Maybe they're that short staffed. Uh, it's that difficult for them to actually get things going. But it does not matter also which carrier it goes through. That is UPS, FedEx, and the post office. Um, every time we see Colorado or Aurora, Colorado, we cringe. So not their fault. Okay, so all of that said, guys, I did not get this until here in June, a month and a half after it was supposed to have arrived. Um, that's not all shipping. Now, again, there may have been an issue getting supplies in and stuff, but it, it's kind of one of those things I was like, okay, this is a really long time to wait. I did hurry up as soon as they said that the label was printed. I hurried and canceled my subscription because my oldest daughter also ordered um, a subscription box for some other fandom thing that she likes. And she actually had the experience of as soon as they said it was shipped within days, they charged her for the next box that was not going to come out for three or four months. Uh, they do not wait to charge you until they're getting ready to ship the boxes. They charge you instantly. Getting a refund, next to impossible. So I, having seen her go through that, and she didn't want the set, the next box because she didn't like what they were going to offer. Uh, so she was actually really kind of bummed that they had done that to her, but she was kind of stuck with it, so she rolled with it. That second box um, actually that one I think was running more on time. So maybe it's an issue with new subscriptions. I don't know. Either way, because friends stuff can be so hit or miss, I have seen some really shoddy cheap stuff and I've seen some really high quality stuff without knowing what they were putting in this box yet. I did not want them charging me another 40 to 50 bucks um, because that 40 was a discounted price even. Um, I did not want them charging me more for the next box if I didn't know what quality of stuff was going to come in this box. Um, now that I know it's it's higher quality, it makes me feel better about it. I Part of me wants to go ahead and get the Season 6 box because they are actually running in order of the seasons. Um, part of me wants to. Guys, I like Friends. But at the same time, this was kind of a really bummer experience. Uh, seeing how quickly they charge for things that they're not sending out in the time frame that they say they're going to. I actually started to question if I was even getting this box. Um, but it did arrive and the stuff in it is quality. So guys, this is a really 50-50 review. I'm actually really happy with the box now that it's finally here. But the fact that I had to worry that it was going to be here and I had to cancel my subscription before it got here just so that they wouldn't charge me for the next box. Um, those are at least things I want to give you guys a heads up on. So if you do sign up for any of their boxes, because guys, they've got some really cool boxes. Um, and I really want to give that grace and say, you know, maybe just with the shortage in staffing and stuff like everybody else is experiencing, that maybe that is part of everything that happened. I don't know. I want to extend that grace. I might go ahead. They're still doing pre-orders for season six. I might go ahead and get that one now too, just to see. And if I have the similar issues with the second one, then I'm going to be done for good. And I'll let you guys know if and at that time that I do it. Um, but we'll see. I, you know, I just got to figure all of that out. But guys, 
I got some new stuff. I'm so excited and it's perfect timing since I'm putting everything else up in here in my craft room. Uh, guys, you'll hear me interchange it too. I say craft room, I say office, it's both. Uh, so I'm really excited about all of that. In the meantime though, I hope you guys appreciated this video that it gave you some insight. If you decide to sign up for Culture Fly, I will go ahead and see. I don't know if there's a referral link or anything like that. If so, I'm gonna drop it down in the description box below. So make sure you check that out if you decide to check them out. Um, if you've ordered from them before and you're, you have your own experience, whether it's similar or different, I would love to hear that as well because it can really help others form their own opinions and decide what to do with things. Um, because if it's not always like this, I would really love to know that too. And it might help me choose that next box. So I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything else coming up next. And I'll see you in the next one.